Ooh. All right, hey guys, welcome to another CST video. And today we're going to be playing with Titanic. I already started on one, so I'll just kind of go over it on how you can, um, like, get caught up. And I'll kind of show what I did, just for inspiration. Uh, so... Uh, the first one's free. If you want another one, it costs 1.5M uh, once you own the game pass. Uh, but it's really cool because the way it appears up on the map, um, pretty nice. Also, we might be building slower today, uh, and I apologize for that, but um, I burnt my hand on a stovetop, so it's kind of like hard. I mean, I can only use one hand to do this tutorial, so. Um, yeah, but you can see it's pretty long. Uh, it is longer than Albatross, actually. Well, it says 83 tiles, but um, I put an Albatross next to it aft and uh, bow, and this was actually longer, uh, but that's because you have the tip. Um, I also learned that you can't build on the aft, which kind of sad, but, you know, it is what it is. Which makes sense, though, because it's not really since it's up a few, and then that would just, I mean, Haggy could have programmed it probably, but just would have been harder to deal with. Uh, so then, down here we have RMS Titanic. So you can see this thing's pretty big. I mean, that's kind of final. Uh, so we do get exclusive objects with Titanic um, that you can't spawn if you don't own Titanic. Um, I should also mention that you can walk up on this wire thing, but I just fell through. Uh, so what I did was I kind of put a nice bench area. I put some lifeboats down there, and then we put a pool up there. So, uh, but let's talk about Titanic. So Titanic took about three months to make, uh, but yeah. Alright, so, yeah, so you can see that this ship does look really nice, uh, just, you know, uh, so what I did was I put a root, I put the crew quarters in this slimmer thing, uh, and then I just kind of put a bathroom there and a battery on the other side. Uh, and then in the back here, we put a bathroom, and then we put a movie theater, uh, for entertainment, and then I put shuffleboard on this side. Uh, so... Uh, and I put balcony rooms too because, well, even though this is Titanic, yeah, it's just, uh, even though it is Titanic, it's a bit unrealistic to do it. If there was a Titanic too, it's probably what would have happened. Um, and the bridge design is really cool because it looks like the actual thing, just smaller, and then you have these exclusive Titanic buildables, which you have your own piloting wheel, you have these things, I think they're called like, I don't remember the name, well then I put a pool up here too, uh, because I could fit it, so I'm like, well, I want to have a pool, uh, you know how much space we could have had though, uh, right here, but, yeah, so that's pretty much what I did, and then I put a suite up here, which I will now show a more in-depth, uh, look at what I did, so I put solar panels up here, uh, the reason being, and there are two items, the reason being, well, my ship's entirely powered off battery, which you'll see in a bit. Uh, then we come down, uh, bridge deck, pretty simple. Um, I haven't, re I don't know what I'm going to put there yet. And then I put a Despaquitos here, put a battery there, and a plant. And I just put a bunch of shuffleboards along. And then I put some benches there, plants there, stairs here, and then that's the crew cabin area. And then we have a bathroom and a movie theater. Then we have more seating back here. And then we have some lifeboat stuff there. More lifeboat stuff. So when we come down a bit, we got our 3 by 4s uh, And then I did the these for the other. Now I've been debating if we should just do the full 3 by 4 across. And I thought about it. And I'm not really sure. So I'm actually going to... I want to see how it would look. Uh, and how much... Like, if there was be a big revenue difference, uh, but, I mean, we could, and I kind of like how it looks, but, again, I kind of like the 
but I mean it does kind of look funny without being balcony. So we're actually gonna make these balconies. Um, so since Titanic is a new ship, I have a lot of designs planned um, that we're gonna do. Uh, this is more of a Titan modern Titanic in today's standard sense. You know, we didn't get like a billion exclusive buildables. So that's pretty much what I've done uh, there. Um, so that's pretty much our Titanic so far. So if you want to pause the video to get caught up, go ahead and do so. And we'll begin now. So uh, we're going to put walls there just to make it look more appealing. Uh, so here's something interesting too. Um, it actually does separate the colors, which is kind of cool actually. Uh, I wonder how much scripting Haggy actually had to do to make it. Do. Maybe it wasn't a lot uh, for, uh, you know, just kind of easier for Haggy to do. Uh, now, I want to try and make a bit of an atrium. Uh, so, I'm going to put that to there. Uh, and then we're going to put that there. And we'll probably make some fake balconies to do that because, but then we'd only have seven tiles. But I think we can give it a try. Uh, yeah, you know, because. We have like a two or three floor uh, balcony thing. Oh, also I'm going to show off the engine room now. So I'm going to delete those there. But I put batteries, just entirely batteries. And this does kind of look like the bow a bit. Uh, well, not this deck, but a few uppers. And these do actually spin. This doesn't actually turn. Uh, but if you want to go fast on Titanic, do a deck of batteries. And then I just put supplies up in here and uh, two batteries. <clears throat> I haven't really put anything in there yet. Uh, and then here I put more batteries, put a few housekeeping closets, um, then the pool goes down there, and yeah, that's pretty much what I've done differently that I didn't show a tutorial. Uh, but as I said, kind of building slower due to the fact my one hand is kind of burnt, I guess. Uh, yeah, not burnt burnt, but just kind of like second, first, eh, what's like, which one's not the worst one. Uh, it's kind of like a second degree. Uh, yeah, second degree. Uh, so we're gonna put this here. And then we're gonna put... Um, let's do it like that, yeah. So we're gonna put those there. And then we're gonna want our wooden deck. And hold on a second. Yeah, so that's pretty much, uh, this is the pool space for the ship, um, since this isn't the actual size of Titanic, more space limitations, I guess you could say, uh, but we're also gonna make some fake balconies, so that way it looks proportional. And Titanic with balconies doesn't actually look too bad, it looks different, um, or do I actually just want normal? Well, I would keep these aft balcony rooms, but now I'm deciding something different. Because now this looks kind of funny. Here, let's try to make our fake balconies and then I'll decide in a second. Uh, you guys can do whichever one you would prefer. Uh, I think I might do all balconies because I, I, I like balcony cabins the best. Um, and also, I'm going to clean my keyboard here real quick because I spilled a few drops of water on it. Uh, so. Uh, we're going to put those there, put them there, and then we're going to take our balcony windows and just kind of coat them along there. Okay, and now we're going to take, uh, I like this railing, uh, since this seems to be a Titanic thing. Oh wait, actually though, on this deck we should do steel railing because... Titanic was mainly steel railing. Also, I believe Titanic had a few balcony rooms, uh, but it was mainly suites. Um, I think me and my friend were wondering the other day we actually searched it up. Well, not the other day, because it was like a few months ago, but yeah, we're kind of curious if Titanic had balcony rooms. 
And I guess it does, so... And this is Roblox, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, so that'll create a nice uh, look, aesthetic-wise, to it. I'll do it to the upper decks in a second. I keep getting so much water on my keyboard. Alright, yeah, so we're gonna continue uh, like that. And then, yeah, so that's pretty much gonna create a balcony look, I guess you could say. Now, the only thing I do wish... Uh, the only thing... It's so hard to type, so, like, like I want to answer, but I don't want to answer. Uh, so, I'm going to turn caps lock off. Yeah, so, I wish we could place these things, you know, because I would kind of... Yeah, I appreciate that, by the way, if you're watching this. Uh, but it's just... I, I, it's hard to type, uh, and I don't want to, like... Stop the video uh, for typing. Uh, so, yeah, that's gonna be the only thing why I can't play CSDs because I'll feel bad if I don't answer someone. Uh, but if you guys are watching this, please do know if you join me in the game, I'll do a smiley face to kind of simulate like my gratitude towards you for subscribing. But since <laughs> um, I burnt my hand on a dual zone uh, oven top stove top, I, it's kind of harder to type. I, mean, I can still use the one hand to push WASD, but when I start flexing it and bending it, that's where it hurts. Uh, but yeah, it should be better in a few days. Paint should be gone by tomorrow, hopefully, uh, if all goes well. Or So it should be healed in a week, is really what I'm saying. Uh, I mean, there'll still be a blister, but it should be better in a week or so. Uh, yeah, hold on, sorry guys. Alright, let's continue. Uh, I think we... See, benches, um, oh, I was talking to Haggy, too, um, I wanted, I asked him, I'm like, could you make maybe these bench, like, these are kind of unique benches, I mean, you gotta be real, those are kind of unique, so I'm like, well, could you make them a Titanic exclusive buildable, maybe, you know, cause, you know, you could, s you just say, well, yeah, there's more objects, uh, even if they made, like, these things, those black things, and, like, these cranes, and, Hoses, objects, like miscellaneous objects. Uh, I don't know, I know I didn't say that right, but you know, miscellaneous objects. I think that'd be cool because, you know. Uh, and then I think at some point he said they do want to add the grand staircase. I don't know if it's going to be the one from Alpha, but he said the reason they didn't add it is the game doesn't, quote unquote, the game doesn't like, like, split stairways because the grand staircase goes from two to big one. Uh, I guess one thing you could do. Um, is make it, like, separate. And what I mean by that is you could make it, like, um, split it off. So if you go down, since um, there's a middle and it's like, looks like it's mirrored, because I got to, I placed it down during Alpha to see how it looks like, obviously. Um, so what you could do, I mean, what Haggy could do is uh, look at adding the grand staircase but just split it off into two so if i go if someone goes down the left side they'll stay on the left side the whole time if someone goes down the right side they'll go and uh you i guess you could you could try i mean that would work i mean it's probably what i'll end up doing uh because that's kind of the only way you could do a grand staircase uh, but yeah that's just an idea uh that something he could try potentially but we'll see be out soon, uh, soon enough, I guess you could say. Uh, but it's just nice to see Titanic in the game. I mean, it's... I mean, there's people complaining, like, oh, it's not worth it. Uh, I looked in their inventory and they didn't even buy it. But you know what? Still, we value your feedback. Even though you didn't buy it. I mean, you can't really give feedback on something if you didn't buy it. I, I mean, I think. Because that would be like disowning uh, Disney because... I can't afford it, right? So, like, no offense to that kid, but it's like, he, on the wall, uh, it was on the group wall, and I don't know if you guys have ever looked at the group wall, but the group wall is an out-of-control maniac place. So I don't recommend ever going to the group wall, but yeah. Basically, it's just a bunch of kids. Not, not like kids, but like, people who 
OMG, it's not worth it. And you look in their inventory, they don't even own the Game Pass. Or, OMG, it's so expensive. But it's not expensive because 600 Robux? I mean, look at some games like DSS3. Custom Flags, 1,000 Robux. So, just in comparison, since this, that's the only game you could really compare CST to, uh, good ship game. Uh, that I mean, I guess Trade Lands, but... I, because I've seen, I haven't actually played Trade Lands, but I've seen ships in the thumbnail, so I'm going to assume it has some sort of ships. Uh, but yeah, I mean, Jailbreak, VIP, game past 1,000 Robux. So people will buy that, but they won't buy a $600 cruise ship that's pretty much between Osprey and uh, Albatross. Now, in mass-wise, it would be between Pelican and Osprey, because it's 100k smaller than Osprey. But... If it was a tile wider, it would be bigger than Osprey because it's the same deck height, but it's longer. It's the length of it. Yeah, it's actually a lot longer than Albatross, but it looks really cool, and I'm glad it's wood, too, because wood's kind of what ocean liners were, and even then, wood is more of my favorite thing. Yeah, so you can see it now, uh, if you guys just saw, if you buy the Titanic Game Pass, you do get the smokestack. Now, um... So, yeah. So I did buy the Game Pass, uh, obviously, because, you know, I, I had the Robux for it, so I'm like, hey, might as well. Uh, and I don't have anything else better to spend it on, I might as well enjoy an update. So I did that, and now I have Titanic. Uh, I would say Titanic's worth it, but don't expect it to be your money grinder. Like, I would do maybe, if you have a five-ship fleet like me, maybe do two alba i mean maybe do three albatrosses and two titanics or four albatrosses one titanic i wouldn't do a fleet of titanics only because titanic can't make as much because it's smaller now if it had the speed aspect like cormorant yeah i heard that um Albatross can go a hundred knots if it's decked out with batteries on every tile. I mean, no, not Albatross, um, this ship. So, it doesn't have good speed, which you would think since it's an ocean liner, you know, and the hole's designed to cut through it, but, you know, just kind of how it works. Uh, but honestly, I just love the fact that it's the color scheme of Titanic. Uh, the only thing I don't like is I wish this was just one solid... Although it is kind of cool seeing little divisions, I guess. Uh, but yeah. Right, so now we're going to place our couches. Uh, this isn't going to be a big atrium, because I don't really want to lose out on profits. Because uh, I want to maximize profit for this ship, considering most of my ships make up like 900k, 800k to a million a night. Uh, so I kind of wanted to maximize profits to the best of my ability. Um, but yeah. And the reason I haven't been recording as many videos, guys, I'm sorry about that, but I've been at my vacation house, so it's kind of been harder to do that, I guess you could say. Uh, and also, I'm going to delete that. And then I'm going to call it balcony. I'm going to put the balcony separators there. Also, I have a dog in the background, so if you do hear barking, that's what it is. And I do try to mark, uh, I do try to mute when I can. Uh, but yeah, so let's continue.
Alright, so we're kind of done with that, I guess. And since Titanic, you can't put anything up here, which kind of sucks, but yeah. Um, also, there's one thing I'm going to point out on Titanic that's kind of weird. See the bow here? It should just be straight. But I guess L and Z didn't make it wide enough. You see how it comes here? But then they put a wedge. And so that kind of like, kind of looks weird. Uh, but otherwise, it's nice. I kind of wish they would have actually taken time to smoothen that out a bit. Uh, but because now it looks kind of funny. Like, and you see, like you can see the wedge in that. I mean, could now one thing too? Couldn't you have just made it come, like? But now they put a wedge. Uh, but it's still a nice ship, so I'll give it that. I mean. Otherwise, I would say the Titanic looks nice. Just kind of wish they would have gone back and fixed that, you know, make it look nicer. Or, like, remake it, too. Uh, but otherwise, Titanic is a nice ship, and I'm glad it's in the game. Th but then, they didn't make any mistakes on the aft. I mean, the aft looks pretty nice. I don't have any complaints about the aft, just about. Um, Alright, but, you know, that's just my opinion. Doesn't really matter. Just thought I'd point that out. Uh, but otherwise, you gotta admit, you, I, even if you're that kid who's like, calling Titanic bad and you don't own Titanic, I mean, you gotta look at these details. I mean, there's, this thing's already detailed off the bat, and I think it was cool that they even gave us, like, special bridge controls for it, too. Which, these were already placed, by the way, uh, pre-placed, and then I think you got, like, four engines and one supply box uh, pre-placed. Uh, I might buy a second Titanic, uh, but I probably won't do that until... Okay, that one's crashed. That one's crashed. Alright, we're gonna go fix that in a second. But, yeah. Probably won't get another one on this safe slot until I fix that. So we're gonna put it right there. My sister keeps going in and out of the house. It's like, can you just stay in here? Because my dog gets hooked up. When they do that. I guess the thing more to think about and remember in Titanic is it's not supposed to be the Titanic or Olympic class or whatever. It's supposed to be a replica, like a version of it that can fit and that can work in with cruise ship tycoons dynamics. Um, if they wanted to make a full scale Titanic, it would have to be like four times the length three times, two to three times the what, you know, so it's more of a modified down version to fit CST, fit the dynamics, not cause problems. Uh, so we're actually going to go check on the other ships real quick. Uh, each of these are 11 million, by the way, so I have $44 million in the ship. Uh, I didn't really include Titanic's value yet, because Titanic's free, technically, uh, since I only have one at the moment. Uh, also, I don't remember what route this was on because I made each ship in my fleet their own unique route so I'm gonna throw it on ship C and let's check the wonder I think the wonder crashed um, yeah, I sold my Disney magic and that one's lost so let's request a tug yeah max tug cost is also 30k now since fleets have a problem with loading on their route uh because what happens is the server is controlling your ship not um all right so this one's itinerary d which i think essentially means fourth ship yeah all right so we're gonna do that and now we're gonna go back to titanic uh titanic kind of looks cool but it kind of looks like a barge you know like flat and then so i mean it's just like it doesn't have a nice smooth to it but i mean the actual titanic was designed that way so what can you do about it um and i think this should also be called olympic class people were complaining about that in the discord but you know what it's a ver it's it's based off titanic and yeah so i guess there's both sides of the argument right there I almost just wanna, I wanna do that because then it doesn't look as funny. Cause I, like, I don't wanna do, have a porthole poking into a balcony, that's kinda weird. So, 
we're just gonna do it like that so it looks more spaced out uh, but yeah you can fit a pool and a, a nice little pool area on um, titanic too i guess uh in that area all right so we're done with the atrium we're done with that deck uh oh wait no we're not done with this part um perfect now what you put over here um Oh, but we're not gonna be able to go outside. Eesh. Um, well, there's not really much out there, but you do need to have a way to get to the lifeboats, I guess. Or life rafts. Uh, no, that's what I was hoping we would have gotten with Titanic as the lifeboats, uh, because. You. I mean. Like, the lifeboats need would go, like, where the shuffleboard is, and it would create a nicer effect, but, again, this is more of a Titanic to the Titanic. Um, but, yeah, more like the 2022 Titanic, too. Um, so, yeah. All right, so moving on here. Um, I'm thinking right here, we can try and put um, maybe a bathroom. Oh my god, there's so much space because this comes like all the way out in the lava pond. So there's like so much space to put things. Hmm. Yeah, we're just gonna put bathrooms there. It, you know, it's the first time I've decorated a Titanic ship. Uh, and as many people prob probably rebuilt it after the tutorial once my hand isn't killing itself, but otherwise, um, or oofing itself, yeah, that's probably true. Alright, uh, okay, so now we're gonna put two batteries here, and then, what should we put in this area? I mean, we already have a buttload of supplies, and the ship's only gonna carry 119 people. So supplies is a battery. Let's try to cram more bat. Wait, yeah. how many crew slots do we have? So I can only have two housekeeping members, uh, which would only do 50 beds a day. So we do need a third one, but I don't just wanna create all that space for that. So I do wanna make a main dining room on this ship. I mean, I know it's smaller and I know we need to get entertainment in here, but you know, Curious to see how much money this will actually make once we send it off on the route. Like, how much money will this thing actually pump? Uh, one thing I do want to do is actually take it up to Iceberg. Like, I can never tell, you know, because, like, you know, I mean, I don't want to assume, oh, thanks. Because, you know, this is kind of rude to assume. Like, I wish people would address more, like, Hey, Bob, you got a nice ship. Yeah, see, that's that's what I'm talking about. I want, I, if I said thanks, and he's like, no. Yeah, yeah so pretty much. Okay, um, let's put that there. Yeah, I actually want to make this Titanic look nice because this was a big ship. Uh, in, well, not big in size, but like famous. You know, it's got... Famous, famism to it, I guess. Uh, right, so we just added a bunch of crew rooms, but the only thing about these, I do want to fill it up, but I don't want to have a billion housekeeping. Uh, so what we're actually going to do is we are going to add more, uh, but we're, we won't necessarily use it all. But, you know, if janitors come, if, and there's a reason I say if, got other games under in the works and take priority, I mean, yeah, pretty much. I mean, I'm not saying you're going to drop CST, I'm just saying, you know, Retail Tycoon 2 is under development, uh, Untitled Game, uh, which, you know, I'm in the secret society, but I'm not going to reveal details on that. But basically, it's, you can just give ideas and kind of learn what it's going to be. It's going to be a really fun game. I mean, it sounds like, I'll basically say this, it sounds like a game that's going to be fun and you won't get bored of. Like, you, you can play it for hours without getting bored. Uh, this is kind of how I would phrase it. I mean, I don't want to reveal too much. Because if I say something, 
I don't want to cause a problem. Kind of sad Henry Danger and Death because I heard Danger for us on one of the TVs. But it's like, why? Why couldn't we have just kept Henry Danger? Henry D I mean, or could the Henry Danger could have actually let it, you know? It would have been more entertaining, uh, in my opinion. Uh, okay, let's put more batteries here because that's going to make up for the crew rooms. I was debating if we should try and put them in here, but I. Oh, great. Is that crap? Uh... Dang it, my keyboard was doing this a bit ago. Um, so that means I probably got water into it. Now I need to let it sit for an hour and it's gonna behave funky. Okay, well that's fine, so. Yeah, no, it's cause my hand was wet. Uh, although, yeah, yeah, that, uh, come on, that had to come back. It's cause my hand was wet and when you get a bit of water in there, I guess it causes act up. Yeah, when I click R. Is there some sort of bindings, I wonder? Because, can I type read? Okay, two. Yeah, no. Yeah, something, I guess. Uh, or my PS setting. I don't know. Dang it, it, I had this problem. And then it started working before I recorded the video. And now it's back. Nice. Okay, well, we're too far in to drop the video, so I will finish it. Now I just need to let the keyboard dry itself off, so I'll put... And if I put the fan on over boost, I mean, it'll be louder, but... Um, alright. Let's continue. Well, I don't know if it was just coincidentally, but it's probably because I got a little bit of... Not a lot of water, just like a tiny drop. A few drops. But it'll fix itself, you know? It just needs to dry out, probably. Because I had that problem earlier. Basically? Yeah. Ah. Uh, that's annoying. Alright, I'm not gonna put my fan on. Ooh, both will boost. Because um, after I finish this video, I'm probably gonna be done for the night. Um, Roblox, or try to be, anyway. Or I'll just let it AFK grind. I don't know. I'm still debating. But I think it's basically when... It's so inefficient to click that, because then you need to make sure you rotated it far enough. You know what, I'm gonna put the piece of keyboard over the WASD. So that way I don't get water on the keys. Yeah, I and O are keybinds on CST to zoom in and out. If anyone was curious, uh, and then, but why is R raising the deck up? Is there some sort of keybind he was trying to toss in there? But the, see, I was wondering maybe if it was heavy, but like maybe a keybind or something, and then I don't know. I'll, I'll look, and if I see that in bugs, then I'll confirm it. But yeah. So in the meantime, uh, can we find a bowling out? Oh, wait, no. Great. Um, well, because we still need to get food in here, but I think we only have like 120 passengers, so I don't know if it'll be an issue. And then again, we're gonna try... Yeah, I don't know. But like, why would... That be raising the deck, so maybe it is a CST error. Because why would the deck be raising on right click? I mean, on the button R. I mean, that seems more like a CST thing. Alright. Um, so I don't know. Or does Q make the deck go down? No, Q and E pan the camera. I know that's not a bug. Um, yeah, I don't know. It'd be interesting. Alright. Um. Okay. Let's put a bar thing here. I keep wanting to click R, but then the deck's gonna raise up around me. Well, 
pretty much. I'll get used to it though. Today's just been a bad day for me. Well, the good thing was I got 20 bucks and then Titanic came out. It's been the only good highlights of my day. Everything else has just been crap. Or bad. Yeah, let's go with bad. Um, so. Hopefully tomorrow's better for me, but hoping you guys all had a great day though. Just because I had a bad day. Don't want to ruin your breakfast. So I hope you guys all had a good day today. Um, no, it was hard because I had to do e-school with my one hand. Or just with one hand, you know? And like, I could have been done a lot quicker. But I was too focused on my hand, like keeping it cold. Uh, versus actually e-schooling. I mean, I was still doing the work, granted, but if my hand started throbbing, I mean, you know, you're going to be genuinely worried uh, a bit. Now, I guess I wasn't panicking, so. But yeah, I'm going to try and use the towel over the keys when I use this hand. Um, okay, let's put this are still raising the deck. I wonder why. That doesn't seem like an error on my end. That seems like a... Uh, an error, um, Haggy's in, uh, not Haggy, but just like, some, maybe a bad code or something. I don't know, maybe it is, I am, because I wasn't having problems with that, so it probably is, but like, what would be causing it to trigger deck up, you know? There would have to be some sort of remote event to fire deck up, right? So what would be causing it? So, it's like, it could be either way. You know? I swear. I just hope my keyboard fixes itself again. I was just trying to talk to a Windows support person, right? On, like, voice chat. And they're like, if that means the keyboard's broken. I'm like, oh, does it now? Because... Yeah, okay. I'm like, no, I don't think it's broken. I think what it is. So I gave him a one step. Because he, he didn't... I, I just like, I just want to know how to reset my, to Windows factory default. And he's like, oh no, you need a new keyboard. Yeah, okay. Find someone else though, who's actually going to help me. Alright. Um. But yeah, that'll fix itself again. Just needs, I guess, the water, if the water is causing it. The few water droplets. Just got to clear itself out. Just by running and, you know, circulating and eventually the fans will evaporate it. Can I actually... Oh, come on. Can I actually fit this here? I wish we could have multiple, though. Or, like, what if we got a Titanic statue? Oh, I want to suggest that. Except, you know, there's a bunch of things Titanic could have. Lifeboats, staterooms, grand staircase, you know. So they're not going to give you a whole... Franchise of items, I mean, or maybe down the future they might, but you still need to make regular objects too, because not everyone's gonna get Titanic. You know, you still want to play the game. You don't just want it to be historics, but yeah, uh, basically it's a historics game pass for CST. But then the inside looks like a modern cruise ship. You know, looks like if a pin now will cross block. I mean, uh, what gets it is when you get up here. The funnels, and then the whole paint scheme, and then the design of the actual ship. Um, but I really like this bridge complex. I mean, I've been really interested in Titanic because I knew it was coming this week. I think we all did because Haggy posted it. I guess some people are going to be like, oh man, it's Robux. Yeah, kind. I mean, you should expect it. I mean, yeah. Um, and you still honestly... This is an ocean liner funnel. Someone at we uh, the whole community is kind of asking for it, so you can still use these, but not as big, I guess. Uh, geez, these were big on an albatross, but they're small next to Titanic funnels. No, um, my favorite part about Titanic, actually, you know, guys, sorry this tutorial is going slower, but you guys are aware why. So, um, did that? Did that albatross just? But look how much tall. See, Titanic makes Albatross look small in height. I mean, there's a big height difference with those poles. This looks like it about equals that, even though that has eight decks because you have that up there. But if Titanic was a deck taller, 
move albatross would have been. Uh, but no, you can see a width difference. This looks like that Mercedes in the port, you know. No, so <laughs> it's a horrible example, I guess. I really like how detailed and structured it is, though. So we're gonna go up here, which this is also a radio wire. Someone kept saying it was power. I'm like, yeah, I don't think so, but okay. Like, why would you run a big power line through the middle of the ship? But this was the way. Now, honestly, that's cool walking. And I like how there's even detail. Are, are these things smoking? Yeah, they are. Any Titanic fanatics? Were one of these funnel like just a question for you guys? Were one of these funnels like a just kind of for decorative purposes? I think it was. Also, this thing almost touches the suspension bridge, so that's cool. But yeah, this is a nice view. I mean, you can go up here by just going up that. And now you're up here, and now I'm back down here. Uh, but yeah, Titanic's cool. All right, let's continue this so I can like get off the computer more. I mean, no offense, but you know, I just kind of want to get off and then just kind of relax, take it easy, eat dinner. Um, okay, let's see here. Oh yeah, myself a bit to do too, but when the keyboard kind of took a crap, I mean, one hand's one thing, but then when you get to the other part of it, yeah, that's... Are any of my friends in here? Or did they all leave? Uh, another one is... Albatron Martha. Yeah, you know, this thing's the size. This is the same deck count as Osford, and it's bigger. So, yeah, you technically have more decks to decorate. I mean, well, no, because you can't really put much on these two. But, yeah. Alright, let's go back. This thing kind of looks like a canoe, though, you know? Of course, guys, I'm sorry. We're kind of stalling now. We had good progress before, and now we're just stalling. Well, yeah, let's just continue. Get this over with so you guys can enjoy the tutorial, make it quick, not take up your whole day, and it'll be a win win for everyone. Yeah, I'm just hoping my hand throbbing starts soon. Well, I guess the only bright side is this keeps a more reasonable pace for you guys to follow. Uh, sort of when I have to do things slower. Um, let's actually put a few tables down here. It's like still burning, you know? And it's weird because, yes, yeah, so I'm actually soaking one hand in water now, so we're going to move a bit slower. But, um, yeah, no, it's so hard, you know, because you need both hands, really, when you're, I mean, if you want to move quick like me. Uh, but even then, it's like, well, now I gotta do everything with the mouse hand, and then I gotta still figure, and yeah, it's just kind of harder. Um, okay, so this is the atrium, right? Um, yeah, we can do that there. I wonder how much scripting it actually took. Here's what will happen. Here, let me show something. Uh, we could make the ship whole black, but this is the default colors you get, but you can actually... You know, you can actually do that to your Titanic uh, if you want. Um, I'm not going to because I like the solid ocean liner better. But yeah, no, it doesn't actually come like... Uh, it doesn't actually come like this color. It actually comes preset white. So yeah, it's kind of an interesting thing. Uh, but these won't change, you know, because you can't really change that. But it's cool, though, how you can actually change the walls out. Uh... Our math calculations... Oh, I see why. Okay. Alright. There we go. Okay. And now we... Uh, so, we could probably do it to right there. Oh, no, we can go in further. Oof. That's actually a bit tighter than I wanted, so... Let's actually go back to two. Um, oh my god, it's so hard to make this tutorial, but you know, I want to make it so I can watch something uh, when I want to play the Titanic and tell me better. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, this is going to be a long video, too, isn't it? I mean, yeah. You guys can skip through it a bit, you know. 
but I didn't like how we actually were able to fit a bit of an atrium. It's not the prettiest, you know, trying my best with this one hand and then the keyboard now acting up. Uh, so, you know, but you guys should hopefully understand where I'm coming from. Oh, uh, yeah. So I apologize for that again. But yeah, I'll actually explain the story. So what happened was a family member uh, was making tea and I didn't realize the burner was there, like on, and the the and it's an electric stove top, you know. So yeah, I was gonna go get my waffle breakfast out of the oven because usually this family member would make their tea after I have her after I'm eating my waffle breakfast, right? So I go to pull it out. Well, instead of using the back burner, I use the front burner, the left front burner. And I should have used the back burner, you know, not me, but I'm just talking to the family member person. Uh, and basically what ended up happening was since, yeah, that's that million I was talking about again. Oh, that one stalled, I know. Uh, actually, that one might just be that one that's like over there. So, yeah, so that family member was told by another parent that, yeah, why you, when you're done cooking your tea, move it off. Yeah, but here's the problem. With this stove, um, it doesn't tell you which one's on. It just says hot surface, right? So you don't know. And I wasn't aware which one was actually on. But I didn't even... But it's like, it's not visible either. So, like, honestly... Uh, but yeah. So, basically, set my hand on there, I scream. And that was that. And then now I have this pain. And now the keyboard's acting up, and now we're being slow, and then after that, my day's just been crap. So the keyboard's acting up, and now I can't. And Titanic released this day, it had to be today, uh, which I guess is a bright side, I'm kind of excited it's here, but you know, it's kind of just annoying again. Uh, um, alright, so we're gonna take this, and then, actually we'll just do that because all of them are gonna use it. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much the story if anyone cares. Um, but yeah, I mean, unique story, I guess. So I'm gonna say, yeah, I put my hand in a stove top burner, but it wasn't really my fault because I didn't. Like, you would think, like, you know, after I cook tea and it's an electric stove top, why would I move it to a different burner? You should leave it in one spot. You shouldn't be moving it around doing jazz with it. I mean, you should just leave it in one spot, but yeah. This family member decided not to, and now I have this problem. So hopefully I can go to bed tonight without being awake. Worst case, I was kind of thinking, be sticking my hand in a bowl of water, but that's pretty much what today's been. Hoping though by tomorrow the pain will be gone and I can go back to. I mean, the the injury is still going to be there. It's still going to be healing. I have to be careful, but hopefully the pain will kind of take an L. Just kind of leave for a bit. <sighs> but earlier, yeah, this computer's been acting up all day too, so I guess it's just the cherry on top of everything, so hopefully nothing else happens. Kind of afraid to use the microwave even though. Can have a phobia of using microwaves and crap now. <laughs> That'd be funny actually. I mean, I mean, I'd be sad if I had that type of phobia, but it's possible. Okay, so now we're gonna put it. Ah, that's annoying. It's like I put it in the water and then it burns, and then when I dry it off. But earlier it wasn't actually as bad, but now I put some gel on it, and now it's like throbbing again. So I shouldn't have put the gel on it, actually. That was kind of my dad's idea. But oh well. I was the one who agreed to it, so. My bad. Okay, so. I mean, I guess ultimately it was my fault for putting my hand on the burner, but for the past 13 days I haven't had a problem. Irony though, me and my dad were actually talking, yeah, someone's probably going to burn their hand on there, you know, because, and it had to be me. Ah. Uh. I know, it's like, so I run an RP group, and then everyone 
ask me stuff. I'm like, did you not see my announcement? I mean, I made it clear that I'm not going to be able to fulfill stuff. Go to other people. It's like, people always go to me. It's like, I'm not the only person. Uh, have... Yeah, yeah, and like now, see, I don't want to engage in a full-blown conversation because it's hard to type and my hand hurts when I type, you know? And it's like, I don't want to engage in a f uh, stupid thing. All right. Uh, when I said stupid thing, it was my laptop, so just closed my other window. But yeah, uh, yeah, it's like, I don't want to engage in a full conversation. And I mean, my hand is throbbing. I feel like, I'm, you know, so it's like, I mean, yeah, I don't want to. I didn't even know that was a roll. That's not even a roll. Chief design officer. Uh, unless it is one. What is he? He built? Since when? Mm. Oh. It is a roll. Alright, well, I have a complaint about that. I mean, I like GC a lot, but... Why is it chief design officer? I thought I... Yeah, whatever. He doesn't even build. <laughs> I tell you. It's fine. I'm planning to quit Disney soon. I'll just do other things. Got more stuff to do now. Well, of course, the burn ruined it. I was gonna get to calm down and like, I'm enjoying my day. Oh, come on. This, my keyboard is so annoying. I'm gonna demote him down. I you you don't give a chief design role, which basically means building, so it's kind of offensive to me because I had that role and I built the Disney Fantasy in Roblox, right? Just kind of a recreation. So it does really offend me that and it's like I thought I was the head builder because I'm the one who always spends hours working and stuff. Yeah, you know, whatever. Today's just been a bad day, guys. I'm sorry, it's just been bad. Um, then all this Disney drama that I don't care for. And no one's answering my quite Yeah, I'm just emoting. I mean, sorry, you're gonna be bored now. Or assistant human. Yeah, that's what I'll make it. Because you shouldn't be a chief designer. You don't even build. Yeah, okay. Took care of that. Now. I mean, I like GC a lot, but you don't even build. And I think the one build you did show me is kind of crappy. Unless you improved, then, you know, respects to you. And I will give you your roll back, but yeah. Alright, anyway, different topic. Just, you know, guys, I was kind of upset because today's been bad. And, I mean, minus, I guess minus the Titanic, you know, but just my anxiety gets on my own pain. Alright, so, uh, we're gonna put the upholstered table, um, because, yeah, well, Just say you mean like. Oh, crummy. I just got myself in a big argument now. Ah, whatever. No one answers my question. Why is he chief design officer? Yeah, no one answers. But he doesn't have dev verbs? What? What? That doesn't- why? Okay, that's... I mean, does he make clothes now, maybe? Alright, well... Uh, 
we're gonna play another deck basically of that. It's just the only weird thing is we don't have a lot of entertainment. And actually we do have more now. Never mind the earlier statement. Um Okay. So that would be the water line. Um Alright, so that's going to give us our, uh, okay. Alright, so that's going to give us a dining room. Uh, okay. Uh, what did I put there? Bathrooms? Alright. Well, I mean, I can't really fit anything, so yeah, I guess we'll put bathrooms up here too. And braiding. Alright. I'm already planning my next Titanic design in my head while we build this one, which is kind of funny, I guess. Uh, but actually, we're going to put that there because then we'll have more space for batteries, and it's kind of a win win for that. Um, okay, so we're gonna, because the more batteries you can get on here, the further distance you can go without refueling. Uh, this is gonna be more of an island hopper, you're gonna have to refuel every time you stop at a port. Uh, but, yeah, ships used to do that back then anyway, so it's fine. Okay, and why would I make a ship with, like, X amount of fuel? I'm not gonna use it all. Okay. So, yeah.
Alright, we're going to wrap up the video. That's the first Titanic tutorial down the bag, and it looks pretty nice, I think. I mean, um, yeah. I mean, it's not going to be realism, but yeah, it looks pretty nice, and, uh, oh, sorry, guys. Yep, so thanks for watching. We'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.